beautiful people. So today I want to teach you guys how to make a dog carrier with a sweatshirt. I was struggling to find one last minute and a lot of videos online show you how to do it out of a blanket and stuff, but I didn't have it. Then I didn't want to buy a whole yard and all this stuff. So I got creative and used the sweatshirt that I had. So let me show you guys how I did it. Okay guys, so this is a sweatshirt. Looks like this, just your typical sweatshirt. I don't even think it has a brand name, no it doesn't. But it's an extra large and if you guys want to see it on just to see that it's you know a normal sweatshirt this is what it looks like got this for christmas the only difference between this and a regular sweatshirt is this whatever kind of tie you call this this is what's going to be the biggest part of making this carrier so make sure you have this or i think another workaround is to use maybe a ponytail will do let's get started so the first thing i do is I take it, flip it upside down, and pull out the string as much as it will go. So it scrunches up. Then from here, it should look like that, scrunched up. Ties at the bottom, like that. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold it together like this. You're gonna open this up, put it on top, and then you're gonna wrap it. Keep wrapping it. Just like that. It should be all tied up. So this is what the sweatshirt should look like. Alright, from there, I like to take the tag facing me. I put it across my chest. I take this arm, pull it up from behind me. Like that. And then this one on top and what I do is I put this one on top stick it underneath the other one pull it like that and then I do it one more time so it makes a knot then you can like stick it under the sleeves so they don't stick out like that so this is what it looks like right then i move it over I open this part and i grab the fur baby so let me do that right now so here's the fur baby in question you got a haircut so he's not as thick you know anyway so take the fur baby make sure this is open i flip him around tuck his tail in and Throw him in like that, make sure his legs are in. I'm sorry, your tummy. <laughs> and just stuff him in there, make sure his legs are in there. I don't know why he's crying right now. Are you okay? He's not feeling it right now, but he was in it like 30 minutes ago. He loves it. All right. <laughs> make sure his legs are good and it'll look like this. Now you can tighten it up to make sure they're closer and not bleeding too far out uh, you can also pull this up and you can if you want you can open this up and have their legs stick out but this is what it looks like and I take him to all the stores sometimes it'll lay back where he's like this but this is it he loves this thing I think he was whining because I was pushing on his stomach and he's got some <laughs> digestive issues going on right now this is what it looks like and just to get them out i pull it down lift them up there you go go way down <laughs> and then all you have to do is untie it like that and if you want to you can take this off i'm going to leave it like that for the next time i use it but that's a simple way to make a dog carrier once again, just a faster way, we tied this up. Tag facing you. Get this one behind my back, over my shoulder. Top one underneath, all the way around. Pull, then you can do the top or the bottom first. Put it over the other one, through the hole. Like that. You can tuck these like this. 
Pull this more to the side. Open it up. Grab the baby. Put them in. And like I said, you can also have their feet stick out of this because their legs are kind of scrunched up. So if they don't like that, you can open this up a little bit and have their legs stick out. But I hope this was helpful. I'm so glad I found out how to do this because I was freaking out about how I was going to carry them around and go shopping. And yeah, so it's been working out really well. The only thing people say is that he's cute, <laughs> which he is. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it was helpful. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.